Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Dragon Valley Adventures. I'm Landros, and here we are with our, with um, Harrison Archer going over into this next part of the tomb. Let's go ahead and just uh, get it started. Um, we're still on that one in the in the France, that French beginning tomb. Um, we were actually done with the actual adventure we needed, but this is those extras that we're going to go ahead and just get out of the way while we're here. It's not hard, it's just tedious, it takes a little bit of time, and I can't remember if we did both sides or if we um, just left them for this for this episode. Chances are I just left them both, I'm not sure. Alright, this is what I normally do. I just go ahead and I clear all these piles, and then I come back afterwards and I pick up all the stuff that's underneath it. And then that way I can just speed them through and get him to go through this, just like that. <laughs> it's really no big deal. Um, I can watch him smash rocks all day long, but I don't need to. Okay. Yeah, this is one, there's one little part of this thing that's just very annoying. Alright, we're going to go back in order. Go ahead and collect these two things. You need that. We want that. We're not going to open the door yet. Um, there's nothing under here. I'm going to roll up the walls and just make sure that there's nothing that I'm missing. Nope. It's just kind of a waste. And then, of course, good old ancient coins can't go without those. This part is kind of funny because this thing is just going to keep um, creating more of these inspection holes. But, you know, it's just part of it. And there's nothing here in the middle. Um, there's no traps or anything. I've done this one so many times that I do know this one pretty well. Um, go ahead and as you can see, we'll get this trap, or this thing. He'll do it again. <laughs> we'll get this one. And I haven't been looking to see what he got. Okay, he got a hidden switch, a hidden switch. Found some tanzanite before, found the keystone, we saw that, the amethyst. Um, found the money bag, we'll have to cash that in. And I think he gets one more, I believe, on the wall, maybe. And then they all disappear, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But you gotta do it in order to get to the treasure, so... You get nothing, you just keep activating switches. See, that's all you do. And then, of course, if you come back and do it again, then you have to start all over. Because I think all these are going to go away once he finds the treasure. I think it's in here. There you go. Nope. Alright, what did you get? See, and that was worth it. Luminor's gem, worth 1245. Definitely worthwhile. Alright, go put this heart keystone in. And let's go ahead and get going. I believe we're done with China, aren't we? I think we are. Well, no, I take that back. I think we're doing this so that we can be done with China. Yeah, so we're not quite finished. Um, oh, I like this one. <laughs> this is so obnoxious, but it's okay. Go ahead and pull this thing out of the way. Oh, wait, no, he can't. He can't. He can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. Got to move this one out. Push this one, and then you can pull it out of the way. Alright, and then once you do that, you can leave this one open because you're going to have to get over here to this um, little keystone area. But for right here, you got to do this so you can... This is going to disappear. The staircase wheel. Alright, come back over here on this side and pull it closed again. Trap yourself in. This is where, if you guys watched my original World Adventures LP, this is where I got in a lot of trouble. Um, just because I guess I was tired, I wasn't thinking, and it was like, it got funny after a while. But, um, yeah, it's really not that hard, but it's the one that almost killed my sim. <laughs> it was so bad. Okay, and this is where you got to be careful. Um, Alright, there's nothing here, but there are some nectar racks to actually clean out. Let's go ahead and take what we can take and pick up whatever this is. Now, if you notice the floor, <laughs> and see, I didn't notice it for the longest time, you'll notice that some parts are raised and some parts are not. This right here is, of course, your trap. So the only way to get around it, direct him. Don't go any further than that. Just go where it's actually raised up and then have him move over. Come right up over here. Do not change his direction until he gets to the place where you're wanting him to stop. Otherwise, he'll go right across the trap. And see, I kept going from one to the next, and I kept getting hit by every one of them, and I think they're all fire traps. So, all right, go ahead and go right on up and... Oh, wait, no, 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 I make that mistake all the time. Go here. Because if you don't, he'll actually cut across. 
and he'll get caught. See? He tries to cut across every time. Jerk. <laughs> okay, don't do it to me. Alright, go ahead and collect those. Inspect the wall. And since you passed them all without setting them off, you can actually see it. It took care of them all. Don't forget you got this little hidden room behind. You will need to get into it. I believe you get something else, like another keystone, I believe, in here. So you definitely want to actually make sure you get there. Fully explore a tomb. Um, it's not worth anywhere near what these are worth, so I can't really I'm not gonna mess with those. Open that door, and I think you have to open it. I think most of the ones in China you don't have to open, but this one you do. Alright, look inside these things. Do not get sucked into them. Alright, well maybe it's not a, um, a keystone, but I thought there was something valuable in here. I might be wrong, I don't know. Okay. Oh, the keystone was down here, I'm sorry. I'm not even thinking. Alright, but we just got plain sarcoph sarcophagus piece. Alright. I don't know why you need the pushable statue that you keep getting those pieces for. It's not like I'm going to use it at home. Um, so I really don't know the point of it. Alright, don't forget this thing here. I sometimes will forget these things. Don't get sucked in. Don't do it. There you go. Alright, so we got a lot of coins, but not nearly as many as I usually have. Do I have... Learn Relic Hunter? Yes. Alright, I got the things I need. There's another one I think you can get, which is actually pretty good too. I don't have it, but... Alright, here's your one money bag. Let's see if you got another one. Okay. Checking your needs. You're actually in pretty decent shape. Let's go ahead and take you back here and... Alright, use your stairs. Let's get out of here. Um, Hygiene-wise, I think the Red Dragon does that. Pyro, let's go ahead and talk to you for a little bit. And then that way we'll get that taken care of, I think. <laughs> and if not, well, we'll talk to somebody else. And I think it'll also work on your social, so... I know the, the purple one will do that, too. Alright, put him back in the inventory when you're done. And then push this guy. Yeah, it's working on it a little. It's not really making it move very far, but it's something. <sighs> Surprised he's not getting the fun move that while he's um he's not getting that built up while he's actually in the tombs because you'd think he would like it since he likes tomb raiding, but then again, maybe not. All right, so at least he's clean. <laughs> okay, don't have to worry about anything there. Alright, you don't have to put this thing back, but the staircase disappears. So go ahead and put the keystone in. And then we're ready to move on. And I believe the door opens here. So, uh, you can put this thing back if you really wanted to. You don't have to. Do you open? Yes, you open. Okay, so over here, there's nothing but you have that other keystone. And you can see these don't actually push, so they're just kind of a waste. There's no doors. I've checked. I've checked a million times. No doors here. And then this room. Is this the room, I think? Mm, this one's okay. It's just kind of like run around and pick and clear. Pick up and clear. And I don't know what's behind it. Um, this thing. And this thing. Okay, then you're going to clear that, pick that up, and that should be all that's in there. Then you got to go to this side. There's nothing here. We'll grab that, clear that one, and that music is a little ominous. Okay, and then this is the other keystone that you need, and then we should be good to go. So there's not much, and this is the, probably the easier part of the tombs. It's the very simple side. You don't have a whole lot to do with it. You just kind of run right through it. And um, like I said, I think the other side we have not done. So, And that one's a little bit more involved. Um, not much more, but it is a bit more. Go ahead, finish up. You know, this is the last room right here, by the way. So if, you know, you, you just have this one little room. There's nothing big in this room, nothing hard. So... In fact, it's, I think it's just a chest, and then then you're done. All right, insert that keystone, and let's get out of here. 
Okay, fully explored the tomb. I guess we did get the, um, whatchamacallit. Alright. Yep, here's your chest. And there's nothing else, nothing along these walls. And you're good. Needwise, we are fine. Um, yeah, really, it's just no big deal. Okay, this room, you can get sucked into all these little things all the time. Pretty much I don't, but, you know, I imagine one of them will probably trap him. Hopefully not, but if it does, it does. And, let's see, go ahead and just speed him through this. Alright, we've done the Forgotten Burial Mound, which is great. Um, none of this is great. Money bag, okay, nothing really hard. Very simple stuff, very easy. Like I said, I think the other side is the one that's a little bit more difficult. But when I say it, it's relatively... I, th I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Alright. There you go. Okay, we got another heart keystone. And I believe you need that for this room right here. Which he's going to discover in just a little bit. And we got another dive well fragment. Again, something I don't really use ever. But, you know, we got them. We can put them together. I think you can make tunnels in your hometown if you really wanted to. Kind of like with the miner. If you drew, put the miner on your ground and take it around town and dig holes all throughout the town, you can actually create little holes you can travel through. I did it one time. I just... Uh, I think it was in Starlight Shores when I did it, to be honest with you. Alright, put the keystone in here. There's nothing else to do. And then we will be done with this part of the tomb. Hopefully we did the other side. I'm kind of hoping we did. All right, that's the sigil we're looking for. And we are finished here. So this one is completely actually done. Laid it out. Yeah, we didn't do the other side. Okay. Gives us something to go do. Um, go ahead and collect this on the way out. I think you're going to come out this way, aren't you? <laughs> I hope you do. Um, and we could go through here and we could sleep in that little tent if we needed to. But we got dragons, so we don't have to sleep. That's the nice thing about World Adventures with the dragons. You can get a lot more done um, with a lot less hassle. And, of course, it's dark out here. The other side is going to be right back here. But to get to it, you got to look very carefully. It's hard to see it at night. Where'd you go? All right, let me just freeze it for a minute because I can barely see it. Um, I think it's back here. It should be, like, really, really obvious. There it is. You can see how it's very dark. Alright, go ahead and stand on that thing. In the daytime, it's extremely obvious. You can see it. But at night, with these shadows, it's kind of difficult. And, of course, that's going to open up yet another place for us to go to. Alright. This one, of course, you do not need the boulder smashing tool to get into it because you know, it wasn't hidden by the boulder. But I think you do need that tool later on in the tomb. So... Or at least it makes it much easier. Alright, this part is tedious. It's up to you if you're really like hard up or desperate for gold coins. You can move all of these guys out and get all the gold coins. I typically don't because you're going to find so many throughout your travels. I just, I really just want the keystone that's in the middle. So that's all I really... Oh, I don't want to view it. I want to pick it up. Oh, good. Those are hard to come by. Especially here. Alright, go ahead and pull this one out. It's one of those drop a stone, drop a stone, I don't know. So, I don't know if he's got all of them yet, but we got another one. Alright. Go ahead and collect that. Take your keystone. And then you can smash this thing up. Yeah, so you would need the tool. Because you would not be able to actually smash this on your own. Like I said, I believe this one's a little bit more involved, a little bit more detailed as far as tombs go. Not by much, but it is a little bit more. Let's see what he's going to come up with for this, what you would have missed if you didn't have it. Um, okay. Nothing like extraordinary, but it's worthwhile. Alright, so let's see. Nothing on the walls. Let's go ahead and come down here and put the keystone in, and we'll see what we got to do. Typically, once he opens up the door, I kind of know what's coming next because I've done them so many times 
Um, but sometimes I forget, and I like when I forget because then it just makes it more fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did not forget this one. Okay, let's go ahead and pick this up. And we're gonna just pick up the things that are on the tables. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clear that. Go ahead and speed you up because I really want to get done. All right. Found titanium, that's worth money. And what's underneath here? Is that another one of the stones? No. Alright, so go ahead and explore this thing. Now I could have had you listening. Do I have a tab a multi-tab for you? No, I don't. Oh, you're out of luck, buddy. <laughs> you get nothing. Um, I know I saw this right here. I know I need to come back and get the nectar. I don't really care about all the nectar bottles because we get so many over the course of the thing. And you see we have a ton, but yeah, I do want to pick it up when we get over here. You gotta be careful because I miss some of those things a lot, but eh, not as many as I probably think I do. Alright, go ahead and collect this, take this, smash that, and then you can walk through and pick this one up. And after that, I believe we got everything here. Now, this door is locked, so that's what we just got the keystone for, but this one is unlocked, and I think this is pretty much a dead end after here so let's start there it's kind of nice having this that way we don't have to go back to the dive well again we can just get it all taken care of and walk right through um, speed up let's go through this door yeah see it's a dead end it's not the dead end it's just not a whole lot to it and I'm gonna speed him through because we've seen the smashing so many times okay if you just push this one, and then come over here and push this one, you're going to see that the floor switches actually will show up. I think this one will show this one. Nope, show that one. All right. And show both. And then I believe it opens up a door. I didn't get a little wish here. I was hoping I would to get more points, although I think we're doing decent on points. No, you don't have to open it. I thought you did. All right, so here we go. More gold coins. Um, more of this, more of this, and go ahead and take a look inside. And so, like I said, it is a dead end, so that's why I'd go ahead and just explore this side. And I know I don't have to come back. I try to be more methodical about this, but sometimes I'm not. I, sometimes I'm just like, oh, I'll just go wherever. But I'd kind of like to actually know that I've covered an, an entire area and not have to come back to it. All right got all this kind of stuff please don't get sucked no oh, I I didn't say it fast enough all right so you get to do this again buddy yeah I used to not know that you would actually had to go back and do it the second time I just thought that you'd just continuously get sucked back into them so I wouldn't do it and I realized oh you mess up all right so you found nectar worth 208 well you got something that's worth a lot more than that <clears throat> at least I think you do and what's this next room going to show us? Let's see what we got. Yeah, this is the easy side. I'm sorry. Yeah, we already did the more involved part. So this is probably the easiest section. There is not much to it. We're almost done. Um, you got to go collect these things. And then there's one more room to find. Which, of course, they're telling you, find a hidden door. And we're going to. Um... But yeah, once we're finished with this, then we will be ready to go. And we won't have to do this tomb ever again. It, it'll be covered for us. No big deal. Alright, that's what I'm looking for. Um, so we got a lot of these tombs out of the way for France. We got four of them out of the way. Four out of nine. That's pretty impressive for being our first trip. I believe this is our first trip, isn't it? I think it is. I believe so. And we haven't even really officially been trying to do France so it's worth it um, and he's still got wow three more days after this not bad he's done pretty good um, I figure while we're here let's just take advantage of the time and get everything done that we can get done all right go ahead and take whatever that is take that take that there's no mummies here usually uh, there is a small percentage that you'll get one but it, it is small um, I've seen it. I've seen it happen before, and it shocks me. I'm like, there's not supposed to be a mummy in these, but there is. There can be. But typically, it's the really elaborate ones. So, 
You're going to get sucked in, aren't you? Don't do it. Don't do it. Nope, he didn't. Okay. All right. So now we are done. We've covered every bit of this tomb. Let's go deliver the relic and get out of here. Yeah, it's almost 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't think that's really that big of a deal. Um, they tend not to worry about the times here. They'll worry about it when you call them, but not when you want to go deliver things. It's kind of weird. Um, let's see. Yep. Saw all that. Titanium worth 878. So see, he'll make a lot of money when he goes back home. When we get all this stuff taken care of and get it on consignment, we're going to be rolling in it. So World Adventurers, I never usually get them a job because they make so much money and it's kind of pointless. It's like, why give them a job when they're going to do much better doing this? Um, that's just my opinion. Now I want you to notice, I haven't said a word since this LP started. If you guys watched my Three Little Sims, I played that like right before I did this one. Um, and it was laggy and crazy and it wouldn't move. This one, I haven't had any issues. It's been fine. So it just goes to show you, I think it has to do with that lot and with the people on it. I don't know. Something, maybe stuff in their inventory. I don't really know. But, um, because I moved them into a new version of the town. I... I don't get it. So this one and all my other ones were seem to be fine, but surrounded by idiots and three little sims just weren't too they weren't too good for me. So um I'm gonna go ahead to do the next one. I believe the next one I'm doing gosh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what's on the schedule. I gotta go back through my list. Um I'll see which one that one is and see if it does the same. And um hopefully we'll be in good shape because the other ones are fine. Those two have just been the only bad ones. Alright, let's go to the base camp. It says, Ah, Monsieur, you have returned my precious baseball. I thank you from the depth of my heart. It is lucky, you see. I would never dare to go into a place like those ruins without it at my side. That's why I had to pay you to do it for me. Speaking of payment, here are some ancient coins. Thank you. You will find these scattered around many tombs that you explore. Some merchants, for instance, Colette Bonnet, only accept them for their wares. Hang on, buddy. Don't go upstairs. Uh, see, they can be purchased. Let's see, blah, blah, blah. The most interesting of items can be purchased with them. Now enjoy the rest of your time. Blah, blah, blah. 35 points. Did you get level 1 visa? I think you already had it. Let's go ahead and just see what's on the list for next to see what we're going to be actually working on. Uh, this is usually when the <laughs> message board breaks. So it may. It may break. It may not be ready. It's not technically broken, to be honest with you. It just... It expects you to have so many trips before it will throw out certain ad adventures to you. Uh, see, this is something I really don't want to do that one because it's not going to do anything but give you points, uh, visa points. So let's go ahead and see if we can get some tombs. If not, we're just going to send him off to bed. That's what I want. All right, so there we go. All right, so Trouble at the Museum is the one that comes next. I didn't read it for you, so I'll read it over here. It says, Help, as the curator of the museum, I'm responsible for the safekeeping of its relics art and treasures. Unfortunately, the security guards are abandoning their posts. I'm in need of a brave soul to assist me at the museum. Interested parties are to speak to me uh, at their earliest convenience. And we are going to, but I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and have him come inside and let's have him call home, talk to his wife for a little bit, be a good husband. Uh, where is your wife? She's right here. And then that way we'll get the social built up and we'll be ready to actually take off a little bit um, later this morning. And um, I'll get his energy up before we go to. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. We finished that first tomb. When we come back, we're going to the museum, and we'll cover that one and make our way a little bit further through France. Looks like we'll get at least five tombs done, possibly even six. So not bad. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.